Hi everyone, Melissa here from Mo Creations, coming to you today with another Shape Card Saturdays. Today we are using the Cricut, and we're in the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to start from the beginning, just in case there are new people out there who don't quite know how to navigate the Cricut. So, let's go to Images, and go to Cartridges. I'm going to go to the Filter key, just so that I can use only my cartridges, plus the free images. You can use purchase too. I like to go to my cartridges and type in Winter Woodland, which is the cartridge we will be using today. Quick search, and here it goes. And we're gonna go down and find the two images that I used to create this shaped card, which is Let It Snow and the Ice Skating Girl, and click Insert images. All right, let's get started. We There's a couple things we need to do. We need to go over here to the uh, Let It Snow, the pink one, and click that little eye there. Click on it. And um, it added that image in there. Right now, you just don't see it. And then we are also going to go down to the little girl's image. We're going to click the shadow feature, which is normally in black. Um, if there's a shadow feature, click the eye, and you see that pop up. Then we're going to go over to this um, little girl, click on that, and we're going to change that shadow to brown. And now we're going to go down to the little girl here, and we're going to change her face and skin tone to cream. All right. And... Now, at this point, I'm going to go down here just to pan back a little bit so that you can see everything a little better. Um, and since this is the X's around that, I'm going to right click, ungroup, and remove that shadow for right now. Now you see that pink layer back there. Let's go back over here and group this together so that I can, you can move, uh, move it around freely. We're going to do the same thing to the little girl as well. But before we do that, we're going to size her accordingly. You know, size her a little better so that she can fit the card a little better. I think that should be good. You know, I'm judging by the height of her hands. Let's also arrange her to the front so that you can see how she's going to look. And let me just show you how it's going to look once we put that together. You see that? Her her leg is going to come across. Um, her head is going to cross that snowflake a little bit. And that's fine. Let's move that back out of the way. And now we need to ungroup her. Let me move that over just a little bit more. Okay, let's ungroup. I'm going to try and just pull that brown out, the shadow. And if I can't get it on the first couple times, we'll just um, ungroup her all together. Oops, got it. All right. Let's group her back together so we can move her around freely. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is to duplicate this uh, girl image one more time. We're going to move that over to the side, too. Now here is when the where the fun starts. Now we're going to start creating this shaped card. Let's try and let a few things touch. Let the, the girl's head and leg touch the other image ever so slightly, a little bit. All right, now let's group, let's uh, put a box around that. We're going to go over here to align and go down to align bottom. And that is even, and we're going to right click, or you can come over here and click weld down there, or right click and click weld here. And she's all together. Let's duplicate that image once more for right now, and we're going to slide that one over to the side because we'll use that later. And then also, if you want to make an inner, an inner, um, layer for the card you would also you would duplicate that 
three times instead of just two. But we're just going to duplicate it once more. And then since the box is already around that, we're going to go over here to flip and flip horizontally. All right, now we just need to make the lines cross a little bit because we need a welding point. And before we weld, we want to put a box around these two images, go up to the top, and align. Align bottom. And we can click Weld. Now normally, I resize at this point when I've only made this. But since I forgot to do that, we can resize everything. And this is where you would, um, it's, it's how big you want your card. We can leave it like that and it would go into a five, at least a five by seven envelope. Or you can resize it to an A2 size card just by click, clicking select all and moving your arrow. So you're resizing everything together. I don't know what it came down to. Um, we still need to resize it. This is the actual base of the card. I mean, the, the top part of the card that you're going to see. So that's this is the one I'm really um, concerned about. Let's move that to the front so we can see that. This is the one that I'm really concerned about because this needs, if you want it to be a two size card, it needs to measure five and a half by four and a quarter or smaller. So let's select it again, select all again, and just scale down. If you don't get it this time, it's okay. You can, you can work with that if I don't get it this time. And I didn't get it, but you can work with that, like I said. Um, all right, let's go from here. I'm going to just kind of move this out of the way a little bit. This is where, we're almost done, really. This is where you will start layering everything. I've cut this out. So you would take all of this, you know, paste everything together, glue everything together. Let's arrange that. Move that to the front. Glue everything together and start layering. You're going to layer, you're going to layer this first. I have my snowflakes in the back up underneath everything. So I layered that first and then the let it snow and then the snow. Um, you got a pink, you're going to have a pink image behind that. It's not just the, the dark blue and the light blue. There's also a pink. You just layer those. Like I said, the snowflakes go down first, let it snow, let it, and then let it snow in pink, and then let it snow in the blues. And then you're going to take this one. Let's bring her to the front just in case she's not up front. You're going to take this one, and you're going to layer her everywhere just like that. I'm going to group these together so you can see how it's going to look. Let's group not everything. Oops, sorry about that. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's move her over so I can group her together. I just want to show you how it's going to gonna kind of look. So you would layer her all up and click group. I'm just clicking group, making sure she's up front so that that would look something like that. And then once you've gotten that all layered up together, and uh, add, you can add in all of your extra, you know, like your um, sparkle pin or whatever you want to add. I would um, suggest adding the stickles last if you're going to put stickles on her. Like I put added stickles on her trim of her dress. I added them on her ice skates as well as on the snowflakes. And then um, if you want to add glossy accents on your Let It Snow, I would suggest you do that um, prior to gluing everything together and let that dry first and then um, start the process of building your card. And then that would be the completed image just like that. Let me show you how my card turned out. Hopefully you can see this. I had uh, one of my... Um, subscribers ask if I could show the card at the end. Let's make that big. And there goes the card. That's how mine looks. Hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, 
please um, comment down below and I will try and get back to you. I hope I did it well enough that you can understand. It'll get better as time goes. And yeah, uh, that's all I have. I'm out of here. You all have a blessed and crafty day. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, have a blessed one.